Okay, Wing Damon here, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I draw paws. Now, this is by no means the right way to draw paws, it's just the way I go around doing them. So, let's get, oops, let's get started here. Now, generally what I like to do is... Uh, well, I use Psy for most of my artwork, so what I like to do is kind of just rough in the general shape. And it's pretty much the same no matter what you do. But you get the general shape down, kind of work the toes in. Go up there. Do you claw. And uh, one thing I like to do when I'm drawing unfamiliar anatomy is to, um, well, study what you're going to be drawing. If you have a very specific animal in mind, then you really need to look at that anatomy. Um, for instance, there is some variance in, you know, the length of the foot and stuff like that between different variants of the same species. So, you know, you look at you know, big heavy dogs, they have real, real thick legs, but then you look at, you know, something like a greyhound, they're very slender, but solidly boned, you know? Um, another thing is, like, drawing cat paws. Cats are really difficult, because they tend to have a more doughy appearance. Because they're kind of fluffy. So they always look kind of squishy to me. Um, yeah, so. I tend to draw a lot of cheetah like animals, so. I tend to have very long, kind of slender appearance. Um, Cheetahs are actually built a lot more like dogs in that they're, you know, the, from the wrist to, you know, the wrist to, like, the, the base of, like, the, what would be the palm of, like, your hand, um, tends to be rather long, kind of like in dogs, and while well, their, their claws kind of stick out because you know according to every documentary I've ever watched they can't actually retract their claws so can I do little nubbins for the claws so kind of like that I suppose and um Kind of work your. You, you kind of just keep refining what you're doing. I mean, it takes a lot of effort. I mean, it took me um like well almost since it's been like four years I've been on deviant art and um. It took me two years before I could even draw anything that remotely looked like a proper paw. I mean, the toes looked like little jelly beans, and it was just terrible. And when I'm drawing, I tend to forget 
forget what I'm doing at times. So it's like when I really get into it, um, where I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing rather than whether or not the ad- the anatomy is correct, I can kind of goof stuff up. So not even all my artwork is correct. But um you know it's it's close enough that it it works. And it, well that's what works for me. I mean really what I'm trying to say is there's no right or wrong way to do something. You just kinda gotta figure out what works best for you. That's kinda what I'm trying to say. I don't know I'm I'm terrible at advice. <laughs> I mean, it just it kind of kind of depends what you're doing, really. Um, honestly, side shots are probably the hardest for me to do. Things look weird until you kind of finish blocking in what you're doing. There's a little dew claw, a little pad. And what's really a bit hard for me about pause on the side view is. Kind of, I don't know, consistency. Because for me, I kind of like everything to, you know, look roughly the same. And, um, I'm very OCD about that. Which is kind of why it takes me forever to get a good sketch going. <laughs> Um, yeah, just kind of, you look at it and work with it, just, drawing is hard, I mean, I don't mean to be discouraging or anything, but there are literally days where I just want to chuck my tablet across the room because it's not going well at all. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't. Yeah, it's hard even for good artists. I mean, you know, you improve a little bit, you're happy for a while, and then you're bugged because you're not improving anymore. Um, I think that looks about right. So then, what I like to do is I I make actually make um I tend to do what it's a, a double sketch. So it's like I'll generally rough in what I'm doing, but then you know I'll do another layer, drop the opacity down on that one. So you know you lower how much you can see it. Um, Grab another color and then you just kind of work in the. Oops, that's weird. Put that down slightly. You kind of just work in what you want. And Oh, a lot of my watchers, like, I'm, well, not a lot of my watchers on DeviantArt, but I've had a few that have asked if I would do tutorials before, and, well, I figured since I'm kind of 
better at explaining than actually drawing everything out, I just do a video and put it up on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, so I've been going up with all my game playthroughs now. For some reason, each toes ended up a little bit different in size, and not quite even. I'll uh, just take the lasso tool, grab that toe, kind of scale and free to form it a bit. So you get roughly the same size and shape as the other toes. I think it's, it doesn't need to be perfect, I mean, because it is kind of at an angle, you can just chalk it up to, you know, it being at an angle, because, you know, perspective and all that terrible stuff that gives me headaches for days. Um, I always kind of have trouble with the little dew claws, because it's like, some animals are more prominent. And in others, they're very nearly invisible, or not even there at all. It just kind of depends the creature you're working on. Um, one thing to keep in mind, at least for me, is... Try to avoid what I've seen some artists refer to as hammer toe. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. But like, you don't want it. Like, if toes look like they've been in a comfortable position for you, it's probably an uncomfortable position for whatever you're drawing. So you just kind of gotta, you know, watch what you're doing. You know, there's no right or wrong way to draw anything. I mean, that's the whole point of artistic license. There you go. See, we got Fairly nice little dog or cat paw, cheetah paw. And it, the anatomy is not perfect, and I certainly could probably do better on another day. But it, it kind of it gets my general point across. I mean. You know, you just kind of work at it. I mean, I mean, I've I've never taken an art class. All of this that I can do is self-taught or stuff I've figured out off of um um other artists when I watch like their their join me's or their Picardo streams. Or when they're on Twitch. I mean, it just, it really comes down to the amount of determination and work you're really willing to put into it. I mean, I mean, like I said, there are days where my art muse just will not agree with me. And I literally want to throw my tablet against the wall. And... And there are other days where it just flows, and you can't do wrong. Um, for me, I find it, it's, it can be, you know, um, hard when the anatomy won't agree with me, or I can't get my line smooth, um, 
for me, I just kind of go, you know, to heck with it. It's not perfect. Mm-hmm. It'll be perfect another time I try. Um, let it be. And a lot of the time I often come back to what I was working on and find it really wasn't as bad as I thought. So it's just, you know, I know it's probably heard it a thousand times and you'll probably hear it a thousand times more, but practice really does make perfect. You just, you gotta have the will and the drive to do it. And I say end a lot. <laughs> but, you know, I, you know, I hope this is, you know, helpful for anyone watching. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this here. Um, maybe next time I'll do a tutorial on how, like, I do my line work. Um, if there's any particular pieces of anatomy you'd like to see done, um, I can draw people to a degree, but most of my skill lies in the anatomy of animals. So if there's anything you'd like to see, just, you know, drop me a comment, whether it be uh, here on YouTube or on DeviantArt, on my DeviantArt account, which is, um, Aslan, or, uh, gosh, I gotta think now. So, uh, A-I-S-L-E-I-N. Yes, I know it's spelled funny. It was intentional. Um, but yeah, if there's anything in particular you guys want to see, or you would like